Hello, this is Jax from Networking Superstars. This video is to show you where you can find people to like, to comment, and to share basically their pins from your Pinterest profile. It's very important, important that engagement is part of your marketing strategy. It's all very well following people and a good amount of those people will follow you back and if you've targeted your followers then they're good followers to have but in order to convert them somehow into leads or into customers then you do need to engage with them much like any other social platform um, it is just the way it goes so I'm just going to give you a few ideas today on different ways to find those people to like and to comment and then to repin some of their pins. So let's start with quickly with a search bar. Now the search bar is a usual search bar and we're not very big on hashtags in Pinterest. Um, people use them and I guess they do have some effect but basically people search and they use the word so you don't really need the hashtag symbol there but if you have hashtags that you associate with your business that you use on other social platforms, maybe particularly um, Instagram. Now, if you're on Instagram and you follow in networking superstars, then you will have 30 different hashtags, which are options. So, you know, you can put those search, um, put those hashtags into the search bar in Pinterest and just see what comes up and, you know, use the same the same formatting, the same targeting in different social platforms because basically you're looking for the same audience and you will find your audience everywhere. Um, you know, they are on every single social network platform. It's just that you can't possibly monitor all of them. But if you're putting some of your attention into Pinterest marketing, then you know, use the same ones, look for the same audience, find the same people who are going to be interested in your product. So so take a search and if you're into say let's put work from home i mean that's so general and i'm sure lots of you on here will have all sorts of different businesses so it's just a general one so you pop it in and you can see here it does come up with suggested a few people a few boards the best thing to do is just pop it in the top and press enter then you get the full the full picture here so what we have here, if you look, we have people. So these are people that have work from home in their actual profile wording. So at the top of their profile, they've got work from home written. Now, if those are people that are in your target market, then you can go straight through and follow them. You can do this on your phone. It will come up just the same, except there'll be in a long list going from top to bottom. And you just click follow and you can go here. You can scroll all the way down the list. Now, there don't seem to be a lot here. I would avoid people that don't actually have a profile image. They're either very new on Pinterest or they're a bit of a fake profile um, or they're just not really very interesting. Now, Obviously, work from home is a bit of an odd thing to maybe have in your profile. So if you clicked on boards, what will come up now is if anyone that has a board, and here you'll see a lot with a work from home. Okay, now this is a very common one, as you can see, and there are lots and lots of boards here. Now, if these people are in your target market, then remember here, if you follow, you'll be following the board. If you want to, you can do that. It's absolutely no problem. If you want to follow the person, then click on the image here, click once again, and you'll go through to their profile and you can follow them as a person and come back, or you can just click through and follow. Now, what we're looking for here is people to like and to comment. So the best thing to do is to click and then you're actually on the board here, created by this lady here, and you see lots of pins. Now, if you click on a pin, 
Okay, this looks quite interesting. See, she has some really wacky ideas for work from home. And if you just go down, you can comment, you click on this. Now, the best thing to do, I would say, before you comment, is to click on the actual profile, follow the lady, and then just go back to the pin. And that means that if we make a comment here, okay, let's just have a look at what she put here. Of course, they're niches you've never heard of. I'll put here, I shall put sounds intriguing. Okay, now what we can do, because we followed her, we can actually um, we can actually tag the lady. So you do at, and her name is Donna Andrews. So if you start to type in her name, what it will do, as you see here, it will come up with her URL, the name and the URL. So you click on that. And then I usually do a, I usually put a little emoji too, just because I'm a bit of an emoji fan. Okay, so we're just actually going to comment on that now. So you click that. So that's a comment you've made on somebody's pin. Now to like a pin at the top, you see the like, you can click like. There's another feature of like. When you click a like, it shows in your own profile. It puts them into a section. So you can always go back there and you can see all the likes that you've done. If you're going through and you actually want to just save a pin, but you don't want to save it to a board, you want to review it, then just, just click like and I'll show you in a minute where it actually turns up. So that's how to comment, that's how to like, and if you want to pin, you click save. Okay, you choose the board that you want to put it onto. I'm not going to save this actually onto one of ours at the moment, but you would, you would choose your board and then you would click save. Just before you do that, just check here. Um, what you're able to do if you want to is you can actually edit the text. So you can make it your own text being pinned onto your board. So edit that if you want to, and then just click save here. I'm not going to do that at the moment, but I've just shown you how to do that. So that's how you can do it by using the search bar. I showed you before, let's just come out of this, go back to our profile. Another way to do it is by category. So if you're looking for somebody, if your business is in health and fitness, for example, have a look in the health and fitness category. And you'll see here pins pinned by um, all sorts of different people at the top. You can actually categorize them down. They have a yoga section, nutrition, workout plans, cardio and diet. So again, you can narrow it down by following those. Okay, you get to diet, you've got losing weight fast, weight loss diets, weight loss before, losing weight tips, and, oh, Larissa Reeves, okay, so that's actual person one there. So you can kind of narrow it down and down and down, and find the pins that you're interested in. Now, I would say when you're looking for pins to repin, you should keep them in sympathy with with your brand and with your profile don't just pin things to get attention make sure that they fit with the board that you're pinning them onto because what will happen is your audience will come to your board if you had a board called yoga and you know they're looking at yoga but you randomly put things on about diet and whatever then they're going to come to your yoga board and think you know they're expecting to see yoga so Keep yourself aligned, keep each board aligned with what it says, what the board is called, you know, call your pins, something similar, so people know exactly what to get. And then they'll come to, you know, that kind of helps with a know, like and trust factor. It helps people to, to know what you're about. You know, you do what you say you do, you put the right things in the right places. And if that board works for them, they're more than likely to then click on another board and go somewhere else within your within your profile. So 
you know, pin the right things onto the right boards. When you comment, make it a meaningful comment. Uh, don't just write, yeah, great photo or, you know, lovely, lovely color or, you know, nice body or whatever you're going to put. Then, you know, make it mean something. Make it seem that you actually are, you've engaged with that pin and it's, it's meant something to you. And a like of a pin is, is a like, you know, it, it's, it's an indication that you like the pin a bit like liking on Facebook. It's not that meaningful. However, you can store things by liking them. So it, it does have a slightly different meaning too. The best thing to do is to comment and to repin. That's what will really get you attention. So you can use, um, you can use the categories there. And another way to do this, we'll go back to your profile is to actually go to your followers. Okay, this is our front page profile. Now, we have seven followers at the moment, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, we're not advertising, we're building up the profile at the moment. But if we click on this, you click on that, you can see the people that are actually following you. Now, if we click on, um, let's click on David here. Okay. Now David's following us, so why not give back to your followers? Why not go directly back to your followers when you start to build them up and pick a board, pick inspiration, you know, write a comment for David and repin one of his pins get to know the people that are following you. Now, if you're starting from the beginning and with a, with a clean profile, or if you're starting now to build up your Pinterest profile, then go to your followers and start from there. Um, you know, that's a great way to give back to them. They've liked you, so they've made the first move here. So it's good to respond and build up some engagement and get talking to those people. The fact that they've liked you means there's something, either they know you from another social platform, or it means they've seen a pin of yours that they like. They might recognize your name. You know, they might be in, in your team. They might be on Facebook, your friend, you know, who knows where people know each other from, but the chances are that they probably do know you. If you're building a profile, you're not advertising yourself yet. Nobody really knows you there, but people find you. So the chances are that they know you from somewhere and they're ready to engage with you. So that's an ideal thing to do is to go to your followers. Just go back to our profile page. Now you can find those right here on your front page. Okay, another way to do this is to go, and I have talked about this in my blog, is go to analytics. Now this section on the right here is all about your website that you have linked and verified to your profile. Now we haven't done this yet, but when you do, you can then engage with people that have um, connected with you from your blog so it means they've been on your blog and they've pinned a pin, um, they've seen a pin, they've come through to Pinterest and or they've been on Pinterest and they've clicked something that's taken them back to your blog. So there is the connection that generally you're looking for because your blog is a place where people tend to buy things from you, they find out more about you. So in this section, you can, I do outline this in the blog, and this is a great place to see who is actually pinning your content, who is following you, and who is liking you, actually. So it gives you all of that information. And if you sign up for, now let's just see if we can do this. Um, Okay, if we just go into settings, 
here and social networks. If we go into this section, okay, I'm looking for the email notification section. If you go into this section, okay, so you need to connect. Okay, it's not in this section, it must be in your profile. Here we go. So if you turn on email notifications, okay, here. So if you turn on when somebody saves a pin, likes a pin, or follows your board, then that means you'll get one email. Now you can have it as they happen or once a day. You don't have to check them once a day, but if you go back once a week and check those, then you have an instant kind of report right in front of you, which means that when somebody's liked a pin, saved a pin, or followed you, you can go back and do exactly the same to them. So that's a kind of quick way rather than going into analytics or it, in a way it's a bit of a reactive way, but that will come in as you build up your kind of Pinterest marketing, you'll find that you won't always need to be making the first move. People will start coming to you. And as long as you make sure that you respond to any engagement that people give you, then you're going to get more and you know the ball will start rolling so but this is a great place to do if you turn on these notifications for emails so you don't need to check them every day but even if you do it once a week and you just go back and engage with everybody that's engaged with you whenever you can then you know that is a great big a great big move forward for you and it doesn't take actually very much effort. So that's just a few places um, where you can find people, where you can you can engage with them basically. You can like, you can comment, you can pin, or you re can react when they've done that to you. So that's it, that's just a few short examples. There'll be more information in the blog and um, I hope you found that useful. So take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.